in this video I am going to review another ROM for OnePlus One which is FIUI ROM if you go to the settings menu about phone you can see I am using FIUI that is future interactive UI and I am using the version beta 2.1.3 which is based on Android 4.4.4 KitKat and you can see other updating options and other status options here this ROM is also like um, customized Chinese version more like a MIUI or that kind of interface you can see it's completely customized but it's very fluid and very fast very responsive and even the animation looks very smooth and nice so let's take about the check about the features and all first of all go into the dialer you can see the this is the ROM dialer from here you can access the contacts and you can also type from here and here from here you can see the history and you will get all the settings from here so this is the dialer and this is the messaging application from the messaging settings you can see it's like a modded messaging application and as default web browser here is the Google Chrome and if you look at the other settings basically or uh, let's talk about the recent apps which are by type typing by pressing the menu key it will take the task manager that is the recent switcher so you can switch between them and by tapping here and then swiping left I can by tapping here I can clear my memory from that which is really nice and if I want to lock some application I just will need to press and hold I will get this lock option so even if I cleared my memory this application will be in locked in the memory itself so that is there and if I want to simply swipe so it will clear from the memory so it will show no reason that so that's about the recent application talking about the notification area you can see the main status bar and then if I tap on that one it will open the IMEA and all the cellular related options I can see I can individually customize and also it's really, really nice and by tapping here on the clock option or calendar option I can go to the calendar option directly and then you can see all the toggles here the thing is that I can't expand this window but I, I have to select from here so it's cool so, uh, let's talk more about the settings option so here is the network related options and then Wi-Fi Bluetooth and NFC in the personalization option you can see the I can personalize the lock screen wallpaper lock screen mode so none slide pattern and then reset lock screen wallpaper and then launch your wallpaper I can change and home options are there so this is the FIUA launcher if you have more than one launcher you can select from there and then in security and option you can I'll get the privacy guard basically so this is the one we usually need and blacklist filter notification and other almost all the features you use to get in CM build will be here and then language and time if you click on the language option you can see all the supported language here and I think it's supporting all the language so that's about language and time and then this is accounts option sound in sound I can customize the sound related option dial tone touch pad vibrate on torch vibrate on touch and from here this is the display and light option brightness, rotation, sleep, cast screen, notification light, battery light, status bar, battery light, float, traffic so you can see the a, a little window here which shows the traffic network status and then here it comes with the status bar traffic so you can see the speed and status bar dynamic fantasy bar is there display control like I can control the brightness from here itself while simply swiping so it's good and double tap to sleep is there and double tap to wake up is there screen of animation is there as well and if you check out the next options like storage to show the storage usage application that is the application manager accessibility option it is there by default there is there will be no Google Play Store so you have to will be no place sir so you have to go to settings menu and then here is the accessibility option on the top you will see enable google apps so after enabling google apps you need to restart your earphone so it will be working fine 
So that's about the accessibility option. Next one is the developer option. You can see all the developer options here. And about phone. So that's basically all about this ROM. And it's like very neat, fluid, nice ROM. You can give it a try if you like a, to try different interface. This one is looking good. And you can see by default there will be clock and an email, calendar, camera. And for the camera they are using the Google camera application. And then calculator, sound recorder, file manager. This is the CM based style file manager. And that's all about the ROM. If you want to know how to install this ROM, there is a link in the video description. It will show you that. Just go and check it out. That's it. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more.